Hey guys, this is the first video of me making the Wonder Woman blue dress. So I used a formal dress pattern, or a wedding dress pattern actually, from Simplicity, this one here, and I used this as the base of the dress. So first I'm cutting out all of the bodice pieces out of this um, poly cotton fabric. So yeah, I just use really cheap poly cotton fabric as the as the stability layer since the interlock the poly interlock fabric that goes on top is very slinky and loves to move so a lining layer is a must or at least a some sort of strength stability layer so yeah following what the pattern says. Oh, by the way, this is only part one of the dress, so all of the draping and stuff will come in the next video, um, which will be next week. Um, the Just the base dress is what will be shown in this video. So now I'm moving on to cutting out all of those bodice pieces out of the outer fabric. So this is that really slinky fabric that I was talking about. Um, I did want to find something less thick um, this is actually quite thick and it can get quite bulky very quickly. So ideally I would have want like would have wanted a you know like a silk satin or a silk <laughs> but that's not in budget so yeah. Anyway, I'm now flat lining the pieces or I'm like attaching the um, cot poly cotton fabric to the interlock fabric um, and I'm using what's called pad stitching which I came across on one of Bernadette Banner's videos so check her out she's really good at what she does um, she does a lot of historical costuming and she's one of my favorite youtubers to watch anyway um, yeah, just continuing to do pad stitching on all of the bodice pieces, so that includes the front, the side fronts, the side backs, and the back pieces as well. And this is to stop the bodice pieces uh, shifting and moving around when they're sewn together, because as you can tell, this um, poly interlock fabric, I think that's what it's called, is, it's, it's horrible, it's shifting all over the place all the time um, but it does have nice drape and you do want a fabric that has nice drape and, and doesn't crinkle uh, like a cotton would um, so yeah now all of the pieces are um, sewn together uh, just regularly like you would sew a bodice um, and yeah, the pattern uses princess seams, which I think is really flattering, but because of the material that I was using, it didn't look that great. I mean, I've, I've made plenty of princess seam dresses before, um, just using a plain cotton, um, and those work out really well, but when you're using this sort of fabric, it doesn't work so well, but it's fine because it will all be covered up with draping in the end anyway, so... Yeah, um, I, I'm not sure what I'm doing here now. I'm still I'm, I'm still sewing bodice pieces together. Um, make sure you trim the seam allowance as you go and clip your corners and all of that. Um, it's all in the all in the pattern instructions. So yeah, nothing really to say. Um, yeah. And then for the straps that go over the shoulders, I think I ended up extending them a bit. Um, so I'm just creating these two little extensions for the strap pieces, um, turning them right side out, and then sewing them to the bodice. Yes, I'm sewing them to the bodice. Um, these do not look pretty whatsoever, but Everything will be hidden with draping in the end, so I was fine with it. <laughs> and now I'm uh, sewing the top edge of the whole bodice, so that includes um, the the arm side and all across the neckline. So um, 
this will be turned right side out I think yeah so I'm sewing the pieces together right sides together I think I'm pretty sure and then I turn the whole thing right side out after you know trimming the seam allowance clipping the corners all of that So here we go, I start um, poking the strap pieces right side out, um, trying to make them nice and crisp, um, yeah, nice crisp edges, and then at this point the whole bodice is turned right side out, and I just need to uh, make sure all of the corners are nicely um, nice and flat basically and I think I go in with the sewing machine and I top stitch no I don't top stitch I um, what's it called under stitch under stitch I think it's under stitch I under stitch the lining fabric around the neckline and that will help keep the um, lining hidden and like you know hidden and close to the body so yeah it's it, it prevents the lining from shifting out and peeking out when you don't want it to so that is the bodice done um now i i'm moving on to the waist the waistline the waist uh, the waistband there we go <laughs> lost for words the waistband so this is again cut out of both the lining fabric and the outer fabric um, that's just stitched to the dress like so and that's a layer of the cotton and a layer of the um, interlock and then I repeat the same thing but to the inside of the dress and for the inside of the dress I only sew a layer of the poly cotton I do not sew um, another layer of the outer fabric because that would create way too much bulk so once those waistband pieces are sewn to the bodice I I guess I've just left left it and um, moved on to unpicking all of my pad stitching so yeah none of the pad stitching is needed now okay now for the skirt so the skirt pieces I didn't have enough fabric um, to follow exactly the skirt of the, the pattern for the skirt um, so mine is a little bit narrower but I don't I don't mind that um, yeah so sewing sewing that all of the, all of the skirt seams like the side seams and things and um, I did have a lining for the skirt as well so yeah the lining for the skirt um, out of the poly cotton fabric is quite a bit shorter than the actual skirt so the lining layer comes to about maybe just below the knee uh, whereas the interlock fabric skirt piece was cut full length so um, it would drape on the ground So the next step was to top stitch down the waistband or at least the top of the waistband where it meets the bodice and the reason why I did this is to stop the waistband from uh, becoming bulky. Um, you don't want bulkiness around the waist, I mean that's the place where you want yourself to look the slimmest, <laughs> well at least in my case that's, yeah I, I don't want any bulk around the waist. Um, I could have done without the waistband, but I was following the simplicity pattern which did call for one, but I think if I was to remake this dress, I don't know why I would remake this dress, I've already made it and it caused me so much trouble, um, but 
If I were to recommend someone to make this dress, I would say go without doing the waistband. You don't need it. Um, so yeah, so that's the inside of the dress, how it looks. Um, and now I am... what am I doing? Oh, I'm sewing in the invisible zipper. So the invisible zipper just uh, starts at the waist, so where the waistband is, and then goes down to wherever it goes down to. Um, so it doesn't actually zip up past the past the waistline, and um, that's because the dress needs to be a needs to have a deep V in the back um, for the sword. So Wonder Woman does carry a sword in the back of her dress in the movie. So that is what this dress also needs to do. <laughs> um, so the zipper is in. It's an invisible zipper. Um, I'm not sure what they would have used in the movie. They, they definitely wouldn't have used a zipper. But I'm curious to know how that, that dress would have you know, stayed on. <laughs> and then I am... Oh, I'm now uh, sewing the skirt lining pieces. So this is all skirt lining. I guess I'm just sewing side seams and also trying to work out where the invisible zipper will go. Um, and then matching that to the actual dress on the inside of the dress, pinning that down, and then sewing it down as well. And I also trimmed down any unnecessary fabric. Um, I did want this skirt lining to be quite slim so it wouldn't show underneath the rest of the dress um, because the outer fabric is quite slinky so it will reveal any lumps or bumps that are underneath the dress so I don't want any um, lumpiness caused by the lining fabric. Um, so yep and I'm just lining up the lining fabric to where the zipper is in the back of the skirt and I think I hand stitched this down. Oh, I'm hand stitching down the inside of the waistband, I think. So, um, where the lining meets the waist, I'm hand stitching that down so nothing can be seen from the outside, and also there are no raw edges on the inside of the dress. And that's what the inside of the dress looks like. Um, it's not terribly pretty, but it does the job. And you can see where I sewed down the lining um, and also the zipper as well. I hand stitched that lining to the zipper. And that is the basic dress done. So, um, yeah, here I'm just showing the inside of the dress and how it's all nicely finished. Uh, this is like probably the most nicely finished I've ever done, um, like ever finished on a project. All my other things have a lot of raw seams. I mean, this has raw seams too, but it's it's a lot better than what I usually do. So yeah, that's the base dress done. Um, the next video will be on the draping to go over the top of this dress um, to make it look more like Wonder Woman's dress. So. Yeah, um, at this point it's still extremely long, so I'm, I'm standing on my tiptoes. Um, yeah, fun fact, this dress was not hemmed until the day it was actually worn, and it's, when I say hemmed, I mean literally just chopped off the bottom. Well, that's it, so see you next time. Bye!